Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you seven very useful exercises so that you can obtain hand independence for both hands so you can ultimately play with two hands without the two hands not cooperating. Don't you just hate it when your hands and your fingers are not listening to what your brain is telling you to do? If you're sick of that, let's get right into the seven exercises that will ultimately help you to improve on hand independence. So. The first exercise is not touching the piano. It's something called the pat head and rub tummy exercise. So let's go ahead and change the camera pointing to me so you know how to firstly train your hands to be independent of themselves with this particular pat head rub tummy exercise. Let's go. So one hand pats the head, the other hand rubs the belly in a circular motion. You can sometimes alter the direction of the circle. So go from clockwise to anti-clockwise. Then you can switch hands, have the other hand rubbing the belly and the other hand patting. Then you can challenge yourself by continuously switching hands without confusing yourself. Another extension of this is to rub your head and pat your belly. <laughs> this kind of looks pretty funny, even when I'm looking at this right now. It's interesting but yeah try to do this and do the switching hands switching direction of the rub as well without confusing yourself once again okay so after you have mastered the hand independence of the pat head rub tummy exercise when you can consistently change those like actions really consistently and very confidently let's go ahead and now go to the next six exercises which are all the finger independent exercises starting from the easiest and then the last one being the most difficult okay let's go Okay, so the second exercise here is the contrary motion. It's the most simple finger exercise because both hands are playing the same fingers at the same time, okay? So just get your fingers on top of C, D, E, F, G, okay? Left hand starting on the thumb, so on G, and the right hand starting on C with the thumb, all right? So what you do, thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, and back down. And do that a few times. So start slowly, make sure everything is together and nothing is kind of split up like this. None of that, okay? Make sure everything is nice and controlled and together. So start slowly, nice and controlled and everything is together and build up the speed and you're more confident. Okay, so it's harder when it's faster. So build up from a slow speed and get to a quick speed before moving to the next exercise. Okay, now the third exercise here is the similar motion of C, D, E, F, G. So now both hands is playing the same notes with the corresponding C, D, E, F, G. Okay, so the two hands is kind of doing two different fingering. So this is just another level above the first one, just a little bit more difficult, but not as difficult as the other one. So just get used to this one first, just doing the exercise slowly first. Make sure every note is together. Once again, none of this, like, none of these splitting up notes, okay? Make sure everything is nice and even and together. And then build up the speed. All right. So once you have gotten it very confidently correct and when you can get to a fast speed, uh, like with all the notes played together and even, then start to think about moving on to the next exercise. Okay, so for this fourth exercise, this is the two to one exercise, okay? And we want to do this for both hands, okay? Let's start off with doing the left hand playing those single notes and right hand playing two notes when the left hand is playing one note, like this. So I'll show you, for example, if you're a bit confused. So when left hand plays one note, you play two notes and then you play two notes like that. So both hands doing two different things. Okay, so do it a few times. Build up the speed. Yeah, so finish when both hands is on C. Okay? So yeah, that's with the left hand playing one note. Now we can swap the hands around, part two of this exercise. So right hand is now doing the single notes and left hand is doing two notes like this. Two left hand notes for one note on the right hand. And once again, start slow, build up the speed. Okay? 
For the left hand doing the faster notes, it might be a little bit more difficult because naturally the left hand is a bit slower than the right hand because right hand is mainly the faster hand due to all the melody and runs that it normally does for the right hand. So it's good to train up the left hand as well with this particular exercise. That's why you need to do both variations for each exercise, okay? Now, the fifth exercise, the next level would be four to one, okay? The reason why we skip three to one 4 to 1 is actually more difficult because even notes is actually like easier to count, okay? So that's why the next exercise is the 3 to 1, whilst this one right now, the fifth exercise here, is 4 to 1, okay? So once again, let's just go ahead and start off with left hand being the single note, and right hand is doing the four notes, okay? Like this, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, five. Build up the speed. like that okay and then once again swap hands now the left hand is doing the four notes and then right hand is doing the one note at a time like this build up the speed and end up on the c on both hands just like that okay so that's the fifth exercise make sure to practice it until it's very nice and fluent and consistently correct and also Everything is very even. Once again, remember, no point of doing it fast and like doing like, like, like when it's not played together properly like that, no point doing it fast like that. So make sure, practice slow, build up to a faster speed from that. Okay, now the sixth exercise is the three to one exercise. Okay, this is a little bit more difficult. As I said and mentioned before, odd number of notes is a bit more awkward to do. Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and once again, start with Left hand being the single note and right hand being the three notes like this. One, two, three, 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 one. Like that. Okay? Might feel a little bit weird. Okay? But anyways, now once again, swap the hands. Okay. So now that the left hand is doing the three notes and right hand is doing the single note like this. One, two, three, 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 one. Just like that. Okay, this one is a little bit awkward, so practice that a few times. Okay, so now for the seventh and final exercise, this exercise being the most difficult because uh, it's no longer something to one note. It is now three notes to two notes, whereas like an odd amount of notes to an even amount of notes, okay? So master all the previous exercises first before actually attempting this one, because this one is a little bit more advanced, okay? So let's just start with the right hand doing three and left hand doing two, okay? I'll just show you right now, slowly, so you can see. Like that, okay? Just maybe pause the video and just think about it or maybe put this video in a very slow motions to actually kind of like follow it, okay? Now, once again, swap the hands. Now the right hand is doing the three notes and then the left hand is doing two notes. Wait, I just confused myself with the hands. Okay, so <laughs> my brain is fried from all this hand independent stuff, but as long as your brain is not fried, doesn't matter, okay? So let's go right now. Slowly, build up the speed. And there you go. Here are the seven exercises that you should do every day if you're struggling with hand independence. And once you practice it like a few times, every exercise every day, you realize that day by day passes, your hands should be actually following what your brain is telling to do. And that's the ultimate thing in piano because it doesn't really sound good if you're just playing with one hand. Okay, a lot of times some people just like, oh, I just want to play a song, just the melody, just the right hand. But when you are able to control both hands, you can play many beautiful things that you see on my channel. You can improvise and really have ultimate fun. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages, 
meme songs, video game music, movie, anime, and cartoon theme songs, and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.